We're back here at the NRA National Firearms Museum at NRA headquarters in Fairfax, Virginia. I'm back here with Logan Meta. She is the firearms specialist here for the NRA museums. Logan, you have brought out quite a selection of things for this latest series of, of NRA news, Curator's Corner, and, and I'll tell you what, we even have a visit from you Aaron Sabatini coming yep. in. This it's going to be great. A great new thing starting in July on July. Or sorry, June 12th. We'll get into that later. Some cool thing called steampunk. So we want to stay tuned for that one. But uh, you, you went through the farms before we started, and, and I appreciate you asking me the order. And of course, when you mentioned one person's name, I right away said, "Let's start with that one." The great. Sammy Davis Jr. and I'm so excited. I love Sammy Davis Jr. But I'm so excited to be sitting so close, not just to you, but to this. I know, right? This and we. You said this. I, I asked if I jokingly asked if I could wear the gun belt. He said it will never fit you. Now I know why. <laughs> it fits Sammy Davis Jr. <laughs> Absolutely. So tell us what do we have here? Well, this is really cool. You know, there's there's some names in the firearms world and in the entertainment world that everyone knows, and of course, everyone knows the Rat Pack and Sammy Davis Jr. and everyone knows. Colt and the single action army. And so when you can put the two of those together, you get something really special. Yeah. And so we've got this wonderful tooled uh, leather rig and belt for Sammy. It's got his name on the inside of it. It's a cartridge belt. But then we've got this beautiful nickel and mother of pearl Colt single action it army. It's gorgeous. It's got his name oh. engraved on the back strap. And uh, one thing that people may not know about Sammy, I mean, yeah, you know, consummate entertainer, headliner in Vegas. Yes. But he was also a master of the quick draw. And in fact, he, I did not know that. See, they're learning that new stuff every day. That is interesting. <laughs> yeah, he was a master of the quick draw, and he loved to challenge the other members of the Rat Pack to quick draw competitions. Of course, except for Frank. Well, he even beat Frank. Oh. He would beat Frank wow. uh, and uh, Jerry Lewis and all those guys. And and this gun is one of those that he did it with. And it was special tooled for that quick draw uh, because it's got a special contour to the hammer and it's got a really light trigger pull right. so that he can just really get on it, crank it back, and pull the trigger. That is so, so cool. Yeah, if you were going to bet on one of the Rat Pack and a quick draw, Sammy was the one to go with. Very cool. So, so show off the belt a little bit, too. Absolutely. This, this is just... Beautiful. With you, you talked about, there's a cool looking the buckle. Yep, buckle with an S on it for, of, of course, course, Sammy. And then in case he forgets who he is on the inside, oh, the inside he's got I love his it. Name. That's a, you know, we'll put the name on the inside. Yeah. Right? And then we've got some cartridges around the back here, and uh, just just a wonderful belt. But like I said, it's certainly not going to fit you or I, John. No. He so just, I could just now my mind. Besides the mental picture of of him beating everybody a quick draw, I just see him walking around with the belt on, maybe in like a, you know, in, in a bathroom over a house coat walking around the grotto at the Playboy Mansion there wearing his gun. Yes. Absolutely. Absolutely. The consummate entertainer. You know? So, okay, I, I hate to even do this because, boy, I'd love to, ha to have that in my collection, which I don't have a collection, but what is something like that? How do you even put a value on something like that? <gasps> well, like many of the firearms here in the National Firearms Museum, it, it's priceless. Yeah. You know, I mean, we have insurance values on everything, obviously. I say good luck on that one. Yeah, but but truly priceless stuff. I mean, it, it's one of a kind. It's Sammy's gun, you know. So it's just so great you know, Logan, to have that here, because, you know, who wouldn't want to have this in their own personal collection oh, at home? But to have it here so folks can come and see it to the public, it, that's the coolest thing, because this kind of stuff needs to be shared with, with as many people as you all can, because I just Definitely. love it. Great stuff, Logan. Appreciate it. Now, how can folks get more information? How can they see this farm, the other farms, at this museum, and the other NRA museums? Absolutely. Well, this one is here on display at NRA headquarters at the National Firearms Museum in Fairfax, Virginia. We've got another museum out in Springfield, Missouri. That's the NRA National Sporting Arms Museum at the Bass Pro Shops headquarters. And then we've got a third museum. It's the Frank Brownell Museum of the Southwest at the NRA Whittington Center in Raton, New Mexico. And if you can't get to any three of those places, you can find us online, nramuseums.com. We're also on Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, YouTube. We're everywhere. Awesome. So no oh, excuse Lord. not to come see us in one way or another. Logan, that's so great. Thanks so much for being Curator's Corner. Thanks for having I me. I can't wait to see what's next. <laughs> Thanks, sir. Thank you.